Look at this. All competitions in the month of February. Leicester today, followed by Sunderland. Then in the FA Cup fourth round replay on February the 9th at West Ham down in East London. Away to Villa. Then they've got the away and the home legs against Augsburg in the Europa League. And then it's the League Cup final against Manchester City at Wembley on February the 28th. And if they manage to beat West Ham in the FA Cup fourth round replay, they'll have to add another game to this list. They'll go away to Blackburn from the Championship over the weekend of the 19th to the 22nd of February with an FA Cup uh, fifth round tie. Now, Kyle, when you look at the kind of congestion that they've got there, do you, <clears throat> do you look at it and think they should be aiming for a cup competition as a priority, or do you still think top four needs to be where their, um, their efforts lie? I'm going to sidestep romanticism for pragmatism and, and say prioritize the top four. Um, you, what, one, one fixture you didn't see on there is the end of the month, in a week, they had the League Cup, or, or they have uh, Europa League, then they have the League Cup final against City, then they play City again in, in the league. That's going to be telling what his decisions are with his team, and maybe he lets us know what he's prioritizing. But they have their big manager, Liverpool. Now they need their big players. And attracting them and recruiting them has been difficult in Liverpool recently. And I don't think winning a League Cup helps the pitch to big world-class players. But being in the Champions League absolutely does. So Jurgen Klopp, one of the best things that he did at Borussia Dortmund identifying talent and convincing them to come. So Klopp is a draw. Big players will hear his pitch. Being in Champions League will be the next piece of that pitch. And then playing for Liverpool and wanting to get this incredible historic club back to greatness becomes a pretty easy pitch. So I think top four, they're eight points off now. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible without opening well, the league. Musto, he's not romantic now. How much is We're falling out of love. I mean, I just think, I slightly disagree with, with Kyle in that when I look at it, this group of players that Jurgen Klopp's got, they're not good enough for top four, Rebecca. They're not consistent enough. There's not enough ability. They could aim, put all the other eggs in that basket and fall short. I just look at Jurgen Klopp with this group, and, and I think Liverpool are a cup team at the moment. They've got a one-night knockout in them. They've shown against Chelsea and Manchester City. On the one day, they can put in a big performance. But they haven't got the quality. They haven't got the consistency that's required to be top four. And... With Jurgen Klopp, he, he has a chance to be ingraining himself with the fans into this football club over a short period of time. The cup competitions can do that. He could win the League Cup, could go out and win the FA Cup, and even maybe go on and do something in, in the Europa League. And when you're in the cup and you see the flags waving of those great Liverpool managers, you don't see flags because, oh, we finished in the top four, let's give this manager a flag. You see flags for silverware, what people that's an won. <laughs> and and, and that's, that's important. And so I just think a couple of cup wins for, for Liverpool this time around. Jurgen Klopp knows he's, this is a long-term job. This isn't a short-term quick fix. Are we ready for the top four? This job's two or three years. Yeah, I mean, Liverpool fans, I, I bet agree with you and disagree with me. And Brendan Rodgers, one of the reasons he got fired is in three years, didn't do what you're talking about. Give them that big moment of winning a cup. I, I just think if you want to go after Lewandowski as one of the biggest names that, that mm -hmm. is going to pick up the phone when Jurgen Klopp calls, the biggest example of it recently, they missed out on Alexis because they weren't in Champions League and maybe a few other reasons. If they have Champions League, just think it becomes a big draw and they can start to build a great team.